Hello everybody, it is me, Everpiscatuzzi, and today we're going to be talking about a manga called Arifureta from Commonplace to World's Strongest. Now this manga is something that I picked up about a week ago, and like after getting to the ending of Volume 1, this reminds me a lot of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Basically, the story is similar, but just a little bit different, because like in the slime one, the, there's a guy that gets transported to another world, but instead of him becoming, instead of him staying as a human, he gets transported into a slime's body, and basically he has a slime's body. In this one, it's your typical thing where a guy gets transported, but instead he gets transported with his whole class at school, including his teacher, to another world, and everyone has superpowers. But, as you can tell from the title, from Commonplace, the main character is someone that ends up being the loser of the group. Everyone else has godlike powers. And is amazing, but he's the only one that's like is completely useless and he can barely do anything. Like he's basically just a regular human. And then when you get to the ending of the manga, it reminded me of in reincarnation of a slime. If when he's in his slime form, if he he keeps on absorbing monsters Bobby. and gaining their abilities and being able to use them in this one, after he goes through that like, like amazing transformation, like this this manga reminds me of like like, as the slime, but it also reminds me of Goblin Slayer. Like, Goblin Slayer and Reincarnation as a Slime mixed into one manga. And the story is, it's average, but it's sort of cool with the way that it goes. Because, like, I really love the Reincarnation as a Slime manga. And this is basically just him as a human version. It seemed pretty cool. And his name is really weird. The main character's name is Nagumo. I don't think I've ever heard that name in anime or manga yet. I guess it's because, like, they go for, like, mainstream names for character. I guess like the only name that I've never heard before in an anime was from My Hero Academia, Izuku Midoriya. I don't think I've ever heard that name before, but that name's cool. And then also there's a girl that's on the front page of the manga, and apparently she doesn't show up until the very ending of the manga. I guess she's going to be there in the second uh, volume, but her name is Yui, or Yue, and apparently that means moon. I hope I'm saying that right, because they say your name at the ending of the manga. I guess the author does. Because the author talks at the ending of the manga. And the art style, I, I really enjoy the art style that they're going with. Apparently this is from a light novel. Same thing with Goblin Slayer and, and Reincarnation of Slime. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I really liked how it went from like him being like the weakest to the strongest. Because, spoiler alert, he becomes super strong at the ending. And it's sort of the same because in Reincarnation of the Slime, I said that he absorbs the monsters. And this one, he eats them. And then apparently he's not supposed to eat them. Like, he's not supposed to eat these monsters whatsoever. But he uses this magic elixir that he found in the cave that he's in. And then if he drinks the elixir, then the poison that the monster uh, puts into his system gets neutralized. So then he gains the abilities and like this magic thing. He ends up finding two magic stones. I guess he, I guess you call it grade one magic stone and grade two magic stone. And his, uh, his ability is synergist, but then that's also basically he's an alchemist in this series. And then he loses an arm. I don't know if he's going to, I don't know if he's going to like always have a lost arm, but, uh, the series also reminded me of, uh, of, uh, uh, lost in a world with a smartphone because, he he his main weapon to use is a gun because he found he finds like like powder and stuff when he's lost in a cave and then he makes this cool gun his lightning ability seems pretty cool the way that he looks in the picture looks pretty cool i especially like how he went from black hair to white hair sort of reminds me of like a singing in series i guess the ending of this book it goes from it, even at the beginning because it does like the spoiler thing where it shows what happens uh in the middle of the manga at the beginning of the manga and I I really enjoyed the monsters in the series. It's there's just a lot of mix of just other series that are within the series, and I think that this uh, the author probably from the light novel and even like the artist in this, you could just tell that they're taking like lots of inspirations from other series and mixing them all into one. Uh, even if that wasn't their main intention, I think that that was a pretty good idea because usually when I think of stories myself. I think that you can think of ideas yourself, but it's good to take inspiration from other projects when you see like, oh, that that that, that that's idea, that idea that that guy's doing is cool there, but maybe if I do it this way, I can make it work in my series, but I but then yeah. I'm just really excited for this manga. I would rate this manga pretty well too. I would give it a 7 or an 8. It's not normal and it's not boring, like it's not boring like the smartphone series and the uh 
Oh, what's that one series that came out? The, uh... There was one that came out with him, like, getting transported, and he had, like... Uh, he... Uh, I forgot the series name. <laughs> That's pretty much what I got to see about the series that seemed like this one, but... I, I really recommend this one, from what I've said. The overall story is pretty good. Uh, the main characters, I guess you could say, like, love interest, besides the the other girl at the front page, the Yui, uh, he had a, a crush that he had at school at the beginning, uh, Shirasaki, and that's probably going to be a cool thing. I can't wait to see the way that the, that the story re revolves around, because the stuff, the thing that I've been thinking, like, as I was reading this, is that I can't wait for him to meet his classmates again, because his personality changed so awesomely. He went from, like, like a regular otaku to basically Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul, which was pretty awesome to see. Pretty much his main goal is just return home and get super strong so that way he could leave. And I just really enjoyed it. I just can't wait to see what happens in Volume 2, but that's pretty much my overall thoughts of the series. It was pretty good from beginning to end. His classmates are total just jerks uh, because he's an otaku, and I just, I just, he's probably, because of his changing of attitude, he's probably going to try to act nice, but I could just tell that he's going to kill people, especially with the way that he ended up in the cave. You could already tell who it was that made him get trapped in that cave, and he is going to kill that dude. Like, his other classmates are going to stop him, and he's, he might stop, but he is going to just hate everyone when he returns. But, yeah, if you've uh, enjoyed this review, slight review slash me just talking about what I loved and what I liked about the series and just me just talking about it, just telling people about it if people haven't heard of it, but I really enjoyed it. So if you like this review, leave a like. Dislike this video if you didn't like my opinions on this or if you just think that it's just a random, just natural isekai. But uh, I guess that 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 uh, that, de that devil one is coming out soon, like the anime in August or, or in October, and that one's going to be pretty awesome to watch. That one is in the the smartphone area where it's not that good but it's good but if th I can't if this became an anime I would I would I would really like it especially if it was given to the right studio but uh yeah if you've enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in the the next video I said I I was about to say like and dislike again but just excited and just just a lot to talk about but uh yeah see you in the next video and uh bye